Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. This is Piggles, and today we are in Area Zero. And we are here with our buddies, who are all looking in different directions. And, uh, so we just got down here, we unlocked this research station or whatever, and then we unlocked the lock, and, uh, we're gonna continue on. And so far, I've only seen one Pokemon that I needed to catch, which was Farigarath. Uh, which is kind of disappointing because I wanted, like, a lot more Pokemon. Can I ride my ride on yet? No. I almost never saw my dad my whole life. Ooh. Okay, maybe I'll read this. Ice Treasure. Yeah, it's because he's freaking trapped down here. I don't know if he is. Oh, he doesn't know if he's his dad. I try and Okay, I'm not reading it anymore. I don't really care anymore. Look at that rainbow. Look how cool this place is. I love this. I feel like the air would be really crisp down here. You're actually pretty nice for a pipsqueak. You big lunk. Yeah, you tell him. Penny. What would happen if I fell down there? Would it even let me go down there? I wish I could freaking ride my ride on. You're going so slow down here. Carbos. Thank you for the carbos. Yeah, there's like all the same Pokemon down here. I want something like new. And by new, I mean Generation 9 new. Sassy Mint. How sassy. Oh, wait, is there stuff on the walls? Is that just me? Oh, yeah, that was just me. It's a big giraffe. Am I supposed to be going this way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Last time I came to the Great Creator, I was trying to go see my dad. I got about this far, but I got attacked by some kind of creature. Well, based on the lag spike, I think that big creature is here. Ooh, HM. Or TM. Dragon Claw? Okay, I don't have any Dragon types, but thank you. Like that thing. Oh, it's a Chansey. I couldn't tell what that was. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't know Chansey could do that. <laughs> uh, alright, I don't think there's any way... Oh, wait, can I go through this? Oh, yeah, okay. It looks like I can go, I can go this way. Ooh, a cave. Let's go in the cave. I bet there's... Nothing that can hurt us in this big, mysterious, dark cave. Oh, it's not so dark anymore. Okay. Oh, it's just a TM. Earthquake! Okay. Guess it's not just a TM. <laughs> it's an earthquake TM. Well, that was an underwhelming cave, but earthquake was worth it. Oh! Kind of scared me. Also, wait, how am I supposed to tell if something is shiny? Because I heard that the shiny Pokemon don't like do like a sound or like a sparkle anymore when they spawn. So for all I know, because I don't know what every shiny Pokemon looks like, so for all I know, I've just been walking past shinies for like the whole game and never realized that any of them were shiny. So if anyone sees any shiny Pokemon that I've walked past, call me out on it because I want to know. But as far as I know, I've never seen any shinies in this game yet. <coughs> but again, that's just as far as I know. Sorry, I know I keep going in like different directions. I'm just getting sidetracked. Excuse me, sir. Okay, yeah, this one just goes to a TM and then turn back around. That's fine. Flame charge. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, 
I definitely don't need flame charge. Um, oh, okay. We're all good. And goodbye, giraffe. Oh, come on. Just die already. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It's only 6.30, but I'm exhausted. Hello. <laughs> and then if I just sneak on by. Oh, it's just the freaking sparkles. In I, these sparkles in the air. I keep thinking they're items. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm kind of bored. <laughs> like, I, I thought that journeying into Era Zero was gonna be a lot more fun than this. But, like, there isn't really anything happening except for a lot of walking. And a lot of the same Pokemon. Like, where's that big thing that Arvin was talking about? I want to fight that thing. I thought that Halucha was wearing a hat for a second. Camera up. Well, that's new. Can we even go up this? This looks steep. No, we can't go up here. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I couldn't get out. Oh, now it's going to take me out with a freaking flying move. Ouch. Well, that was a, wait, that was a normal take move, wasn't it? I don't know why I used that. Alright, well, I don't know where to go then. Oh, wow. Three level ups. Yeah, like, if I can't get up here, where the heck am I supposed to go? Will you guys heal me if I talk to you? No, I can't even talk to you. Okay. Oh, there's one right down there. Herdoi. Still looks like the exact same Pokemon. It does look like we're getting further and oh, I thought I like ran into a Pokemon. It does look like we're getting further and further into the crater, so that's cool. About time too. Yeah, you're right. Took a while to find this. Yes. I don't understand this student council girl. Yeah, cool. I'm just full of surprises. I feel like you should be able to ride the Pokemon that are in your party. What the heck? Is that a metal deli bird? Oh my gosh, so cute. Why is it made of metal? <laughs> what the? Wah! Dylan, it's battle time. Oh, wait, it's not gonna let me catch this thing either? Because it's making me battle with Penny? That's stupid. Iron Bundle? Why is it just called that? Okay, well, is it a steel type? Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh. Wait, wait, how am I still... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dark Pulse. Oh, what the heck? It's head came out. That, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. I do know I want to catch it, though, because it's a metal bird. Darn thing scared me half to death. It's definitely kind of mechanical looking. 
You were right. Yeah. That wasn't much of a jump scare. She kind of walked up to it, though. Am I able to find any more of them birds? No. Okay. Why do we have to kill that one? It didn't let me catch it, right? I, I wasn't I wasn't being stupid, was I? I'm like pretty sure it wouldn't let me catch it because I was fighting with Penny. Yeah, it does look exactly the same. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, guys. No, the Pokemon are metal. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cool beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Oh my goodness. Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed the passenger was on the side of the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is, it is biologically separate. Uh, to say nothing of it, of its treads of iron. Monsters are a zero. So are they like the Ultra Beast, kind of? Yeah, I definitely don't think they're regular Pokemon. They are Pokemon, but they're not regular Pokemon. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Yeah, it's about time. Professor? Some of the life forms that you're not... Bleh. Within Area Zero, our future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Oh. That is that is pretty cool. Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine? Oh. Well, yeah, that explains it. <laughs> a time machine. What, is he, like, stuck in time? It's theoretically possible to travel to... What about the past? Which is, I bet, what happens in Pokemon Scarlet. But anyways. However, for being such a human, such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Ooh. Well, that's kind of spooky. Dad. You. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I'd like to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easy for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Dylan, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. What What if I just didn't unlock it? Like, I'm going to because I'm too interested, but it's like, what if I didn't do it? Better press it. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Dylan. Yes. You know the book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. Uh, but I'm not the one who uh, he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Oh, okay, sure. Thank you. Record of the... Uh, yeah, whatever. Take care of it for me, okay, Don? Hmm. I wonder if, like, the professor is actually from, like, the past, and he used it to come into the future, and, like, that's why he, like, never... Oh, and that's, like, why he never saw his dad or something? I don't know. Oh, wait! Did you guys see that panel there? Wait a minute, I'm going back inside. That was like a Galactic HQ panel. I don't know what that was. Does it just take me to the other one or something? Okay, yeah, it, it just brings me around. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower dude. Oh wait, what? What? Are, where are they talking about? I did. I wasn't reading it. So like, she's rich. I was. I was not paying attention. My big sister will take over the business. Oh, the, oh, the business. Yeah, no, I was not. I was not paying attention. Ooh, is 
a TM right in there. I wonder if this TM is going to be Waterfall. Ooh, there's some different Pokemon. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh, that's not a different Pokemon. Okay, I thought from the side that looked like something different. Belly ball. I have some of those. Mild mint. Nice. A lot of items over here. If only I could ride my Marai down. Oh, the other one's already over there. Item. Lithium balls. Very good, very good. Excuse me, giraffes. Yeah, this place reminds me of the the Godzilla thing. The um the uh where the the Godzilla versus King Kong place where they went like into the center of the earth. I'm sure you guys know. Th those who've seen it know. I forgot what it's called. Careful mint. Excuse me. Um but yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but like, you know, those who've seen it will know what I'm talking about. Alright, looks like we already made it to the third one. That was pretty easy. Well, it took me like two minutes. Alright, very cool. Alright, we're gonna run into another Pokemon now, and then I'm gonna fight it with Arvin instead. Because I already fought a Pokemon with the two other... the them two. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Or do we? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure she's right. Where is it? Huh? Ah! Oh, I already have one of you. See? See? Wait a sec, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. You're right, you're right. So it was a future Pokemon all along? Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. It is. It beat me. Yeah, well, Dylan and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. I forgot what type it is. It's Steel Ground, right? So is it weak to water? I don't, I don't know what type Steel resists. My boss did. Iron treads. Yeah, okay. I just got the super effective. Ah! Watch out! Oh, come on. Alright, take it down, my boss did. Take it down. Eat it. Yeah! Nom 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 nom. Very good. Well, that was easy. <sighs> okay. Do you got to meet one of these Pokemon before our creator gets together? Jealous. Uh, if we've got things from the literal future running on Polly, that's a major problem. Shut up, Penny. Why do you got to bring us all down? Yeah, right, because it's, it's no, it's not, okay. Uh, yes, you were right, you were right, you were right. Okie dokie. And maybe this is number three. Uh, anyone need a rest? Hmm. Feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been there in the time machine. Pokemon, uh, yeah. Alright. Oh. I don't know. I mean, she's got a point. Hey, Arvin. You had Mariah on fall, and you told us about its its forms in the first place. Uh, so you must know something about it, right? Urk. You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're already so starfield. Why do you have to be so mean come on try the pokemon right as that is it was time i did when he's working on his time machine i believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point okay 
Okay, I'm gonna yawn. Okay, not one there. Right on, which I entrusted to Dylan. Was the act I mean, technically he entrusted it to Arvin, and then he entrusted it to me, whatever. Was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that... Oh! Okay, that makes sense. That's actually pretty cool. Many other Pokemon also come to this place during the cross boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring more than uh, more than two spe two specimens. There are two Maridon. Oh my goodness, that's actually really cool. That's like the first time we've seen two of the same legendary Pokemon in the same game. I think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled. Uh, yeah. Family, huh? Yeah, that does sound nice. Uh, if we could proceed on to the yes. You got it, Professor, who's probably from the future and or past that we don't know about. Mwah. Yes. Um, I think on that note, <laughs> I'm actually going to end this video here only because, um, you know, it's our, we're already at 21 and a half minutes, so uh, to keep this video from getting too long, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to end it here, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya!